Breast implants come in a couple of different varieties. There's the saline and the silicone. With the silicone, they come pre-filled. They're a certain volume, they're a certain shape. There's not much wiggle room with that kind of thing. But with the saline implants, we have the ability to fill it to a range of different volumes. And there's benefit from doing different ways. Now, with the implant, as it comes from the manufacturer, it has a minimum fill volume. And that's because if we don't fill it to that volume, the ripples on the sides of the implant tend to be deeper, the implant folds, and over time that weakens the implant and it can cause it to rupture sooner. So we absolutely don't want to go below that minimal fill. Um, but if we're at that minimal fill, we notice there's still a pretty good amount of rippling that goes on. So what we like to do is fill it to maximum fill or even above that maximum fill to fill out that laxity of the outer shell of the implant. You can imagine here, if I just put some pressure on it, that's what putting extra volume into there does. It smooths out those ripples, so it's a much crisper line of the implant, and you don't see that indentation or feel that indentation on the breast. Um, also, you get the added projection, which is nice. We don't have to go wider to get more volume filling outward if we do an overfill on an implant. Now, there is a limit of how much we can go over, too. Um, with the mentor implants, there is a specific number that they give us of what the overfill is, and it's just in their normal range. Whereas with the Allergan implants, we can go 10 to 15 percent above what they say is their regular fill, and what you need to do is just talk to your surgeon about what properties you want to see with things. If you're interested in more projection, if you want to avoid the rippling, then consider overfill or maximum fill on your implant.